Today I'll be showing you applications that will allow you to make awesome videos on your phone, not less awesome as on your computer. Here comes the top 10 Android video editing apps brought to you by Movavi. Hi, my name is Raman and this is the Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making great videos and I hope these days no one has doubts that making awesome YouTube content using just a smartphone is the reality in 2021. It is definitely an option for a YouTube creator. So I personally chose the most, in my opinion, useful Android applications for editing videos and fast uploading to YouTube. Naturally, each app has its own features, pros and cons. There is no one king program that fits absolutely any purpose. Well, enough introduction, it's time to open the top. Adobe Premiere Rush is to open my top 10. A minimalistic interface appears when you open that app, but if you click on this icon, it becomes similar to standard video editing systems that you might be accustomed to on your computers. Likewise, you'll see several video tracks and several audio tracks. Here you can turn off some tracks or mute them. You can also separate the audio from the associated video clip. Adobe Rush allows you to move some clips to upper tracks and add titles. In the app, you also find transitions, color correction, filters, a video speed tool, audio controls, a crop tool, and other small but useful features such as track zoom in and zoom out. Another great feature, you can rotate the phone horizontally and see the frames in a larger scale. When you're done, click the export icon, select the export settings and click export. Perfect. In general, Adobe Premiere Rush is a decent and well-known app, definitely deserves to be included in the top 10. Next on the list, KineMaster. Well, first of all, you can find some pro features in this one. I'm talking about speed effects, filters and color adjustments, voice enhancements and EQ, which are quite decent in this app. Apart from that, you can easily record video and audio, including voiceover in this app, with some different features, which I think is very functional as well. Speaking about downsides, first of all, ads, a lot of them. Second of all, the surprisingly long-winded way that you go about cutting your video. You need to press cut, then you go into a list of options, and then you gotta choose a simple cut. There is no quick button for that, which is rather unusual for a video editing app. One of the greatest upsides, though, is that you can use KineMaster in a landscape mode, which is pretty handy and makes the video editing process easier. The paid-up version promises extra effects, some more pro features, and the removal of annoying watermark. Moving on. PowerDirector is the application that will give you a lot of flexibility in manual editing. However, be prepared to spend some time looking around and understanding how it works. The program is not the most user-friendly for a beginner, in my opinion. Here you have video tracks and audio tracks. To start with, you offer to choose video clips. From the collection on your smartphone, you can pick the videos and photos you need. After arranging and cutting the video clips, click this audio icon icon to add music and choose the desired track. By selecting one of the frames and clicking on the pencil icon, you can open even more settings that will relate to a particular clip, not the entire project or track. You will find settings such as volume, filters, speed, some effects, etc. And you can do the same with an audio track. And if you click the transition icon, the transition library opens. By clicking on one of the transitions and the play button, you can preview it and check how it will look. Click the plus sign and it will apply to a specific moment on the timeline. In PowerDirector, you can make quite long and sophisticated projects. Well, for a smartphone type of video, of course. For example, a YouTube episode longer than a TikTok video or an Instagram story. So, if you're looking for a flexible functionality, pay attention to this application. The next app in the list is InShot. Many people associate it with the processing of photos for Instagram, but in fact, InShot does a great job of editing videos on your smartphone. The application will allow you to create video clips not only for Instagram stories in 9 to 16 format. There are about a dozen presets with different aspect ratios. There are ones for TikTok and YouTube too. The standard timeline turns into a single track here. You can change the timeline scale, which is very convenient. And you can also cut, 
trim, split, rearrange and delete clips. Speaking about tools, InShot offers the following. The ability to add music to a video. There is a built-in collection, but not all tracks are copyright free. Read the descriptions carefully. Then the ability to add stickers and GIFs. Quite classy sets, by the way. And the chance to insert text and captions in the video. And there is also something to choose from. Also in this app, you can speed up or slow down videos, flip or rotate a frame and make a freeze frame. Personally, I like InShot the best for its color correction settings and the built-in collections of filters and effects. Most of the cool ones are paid, but even among the free ones, you can choose something. Next one is Movavi Clips. Its set of features and options make it a very flexible application for different purposes. You can make videos for TikTok as well as something more serious. For example, complicated long videos for YouTube channels. The program handles even large projects. At the same time, the app is easy to learn and convenient to use. In Movavi Clips, you can make not only videos, but also slideshows with music and text using the software. You can choose the aspect ratio, square, vertical 9 to 16, 4 to 5 or 16 to 9 horizontal. The timeline could be zoomed in and out. It would seem a small feature, but it is one of the little things that make Movavi Clips a convenient and versatile application. So if you zoom in, it becomes comfortable to perform precise manipulations, cut and merge clips exactly where you need. But in this mode, it is awkward to move around the project if it's too big. So just apply zoom out and voila! Now using a smartphone app, you can edit quite long videos with no stress. Basic videographer tools are quite intuitive to use. If you don't like a clip, you can remove it with a familiar swipe up or down. If you want to remove a particular part of a video, click on the scissors icon and swipe the unwanted piece away. At the bottom, there's a big play button and the undo button. If you have done something wrong, you can always return everything as it was. So don't be afraid to make mistakes in editing. In Movavi Clips, you'll find a toolbar that you can slide to the left and right. It starts with audio, where you can choose music or sound effects. You can select something from the built-in collection or add tunes from your phone. You can also add logos, stickers and captions. The fonts are few, but there are very bright options. There's a feature to rewind video and change the speed, which means you can slow down videos with high FPS and make real slow-mo videos right on your phone. Movavi clips can be used for free, yet your video will have the small watermark. Or you can subscribe, then there will be no watermark. The subscription is quite affordable, by the way. Now please welcome Velo, the next app on the top 10. This app is great and the best part, it's very intuitive. The timeline is very easy to understand even if you're a beginner and not quite accustomed to a concept of the timeline in general. And this app offers basic video editing tools, which are easy and fun to try and get used to. Also some really powerful video editing tools are here too, like Ken Burns, a very cool feature where you can basically move around the display of the screen. Haven't seen that one too often in other apps like this. Velo can look a bit scary at first, cause there's a lot going on when you actually select your media and view the playhead, but all of these options are easy to master and they do make editing faster. You don't have to dig around in menus, everything is there in one touch. The free version of Velo does not have a watermark, which is great. There is a premium version, though, that will give you some extra effects and features. The next one is a pretty new app, but trust me, it deserves your attention. It's called Node Video. I wouldn't say Node Video is too friendly for beginners, but if it's not your first Android video editor, you're probably going to appreciate the opportunities this app gives. There are a lot of settings and parameters to tweak. After you upload videos or photos, you can adjust the position, scale, rotation and other parameters of each media very accurately. 
At the bottom, you can see the timeline and play head and navigate through your project. Apart from basic video editing tools, Note Video allows you to create new media layers, as many as you want, add effects, use masks and other pro features. Note Video also offers great options for color correction, yet you would have to buy a pro version in order to access the color grading tab, but it's still very cool. You can even import a lot of your choice, which is quite rare for a smartphone editing app. So if you want to edit videos on your Android device using some pro-level tools and focusing on color grading, I really recommend you try Note Video. Even though it seems so, this is not the end of the video. I left the best apps of today's list, my personal three most favorite apps of the top 10, on our brand new web page. So hit the link in the description or pinned comment to watch the rest of my top 10. Also, on this very page, you will be able to join the official Movavi community Unity or even get best-selling Movavi titles at a 20% discount. Alright, I'll see you there in a minute.